You are now listening to MB District Magazine with oh, Mahogany Brown, oh, Mahogany Brown, oh, Mahogany Brown. <laughs> Chatting with MB District Magazine is Romeo Johnson. Hey, Romeo, how's it going? It's going great. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. I'm glad to have you. Um, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Can you tell everyone a little bit about yourself for those people who may not know? Okay. Well, I'm Romeo Johnson. I am a vocal coach, but I started off being a singer and a bass guitar. Um, I think most people know me from either being back up for Janet or Michael Jackson, and, and a lot of people know me from being the voice coach on Key Diddy, uh, making his band. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I've been singing for years, and I played bass on a few tours back in the day. Um, from Chattanooga, Tennessee, born and raised in LA for a long time, so LA is kind of home for me right now. All right. And, uh, you know, just glad to do what I do. I have a passion for sharing all that I know and um, all that I can to help people grow and kind of just to repay, um, I guess that's my way of making a, a repayment bless other people because of my career has been so blessed and people helped me so much when I was coming up. That, that's what's up. So now I know you've been doing a lot of work on NBC's The Voice. And what season are you guys on? We're, uh, we're working on season three of NBC's The Voice. I guess I should have mentioned that up. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, I am also the voice coach of NBC's The Voice. I've been the voice coach of The, of the Voice since the very beginning. And... Um, the show is going great. We got some awesome new talent coming for season three. Uh, it starts to air um, in September. Okay. So you guys look out for that. It's going to be great, great new talent. Season one was great. Season two was amazing. Congratulations to Javier Cole, season one winner, and uh, Jermaine Paul, season two winner. We got great talent for season three coming up. And uh, I just hope you guys keep up and uh you know, be, be prepared. It's getting better every season. We get much, much better talent, more, uh, I guess, a higher volume of turnout. So we're able to get more talent. So it's going to be great. That's what's up. So now you did, you mentioned Janet Jackson, a few other people, but can you tell me about a, just a few of the celebrities you've worked with? Basically, uh, the, the, the celebrities that I've worked with are very, very broad and very fast. Uh, I've been in the career for a long time and whether it be uh, artists that I've coached um, which are people like Abel Levine um, um, Elder Barge which was a, an honor for me to coach Elder Barge because I was so very 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 heavily employed vocally by him right. uh, it, was, it was an honor and it was actually kind of intimidating but it was a blessing because I was able to help him and he appreciated it and, that was great. Um, you know, with my dear friend, Vesta Williams, uh, rest in peace, who was on their first tour. And we grew to be best friends, like brother and sister. You know, it's, it's me that I worked with coaching and touring and recording. I got a chance to work with people like um, um, Queen Latifah, um, Tom Harrison, one of my favorite uh, main conditions. So this a great friend of friend of mine now who's like one of my favorite singers um legendary people like you know Stevie and Stevie Wonder and Smoke Robinson it goes on and on and on I mean it's very um very diverse type of music I've had the opportunity to play bass guitar with Sheena Ethan and Dodie Wadley and Adam Ant and our favorite James Ingram and Jennifer wow. Holiday and I mean it, it goes on and on it's, it's, it's been a blessing Yes, it has. And and I know that it can't be easy working with um, people who themselves have experienced a large amount of success. Um, Do you find that um, you come across a lot of egos or pride or are they pretty easy going when it comes to you coaching them and telling them what they need to do? Okay. By the time I get to them, they've kind of surrendered to the ideas, and uh, you'd be surprised. 
easy going and so easy to talk to that I'm sure that's why you're so good at what you do um, you make people feel very comfortable so I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> why you're so good at it but speaking of those newcomers what is the biggest misconception that newcomers have about the music industry um, well So the truth is they need they need the extra help. So I mean it's it's just good I think for up and coming um people to hear that because I think they that a lot of times they just see the finished product and they don't understand what it took to get there and all the things and all the people that it took to make that star a star. It's not just that person getting up and, you know, shining. Not to say that people don't have natural talent, but it usually takes a team of people to get them to that point. It does, it does, and, and I like to, I like to make artists understand that it's just, it really has to be a balance. You have to understand that you can't do anything by yourself. Right. You have to have a team. But on the other hand, you, you can have the dopest team in the world. You still have to do your part. Right. So it's very important to get a team that helps you, and it's very important for you to do your part because your team can't do everything for you. You know what I mean? Right. So, like I've told, I've told a lot of my clients, <laughs> you're, you can get the best producer that's, that's out there. You can get the best choreographer that's out there. You can get the best microphone. You can get the best everything. But when it comes down to it, you're going to have to be responsible for the performance part. Yeah, I, I agree. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that there's people like you that are out there trying to keep people informed and trying to just make sure that, you know, people are making informed decisions. And that's going to um, get me into my next topic that I want to talk about with you, which is Sangers. Do you want to tell everybody uh -huh. what Sangers is about? Oh, 
singers were actually musicians I, I I agree and I want people to um to know about the website where, where they can actually find your website can you give them the web address And if, and if you didn't get that, don't worry, we're going to have a link at the bottom of your screen. So, cool. just, just click that link. <laughs> that's what's up, that's what's up. <laughs> so now, um, what, what projects do you have lined up um, in the future, late 2012? Mm-hmm. So that's, that's kind of like my full time 
gig right now and I'm really dedicated to making sure that we have good things for that show and that I coach them well. So that's been my priority for a while. So my, my project kind of took a, uh, a backseat a little bit. Uh, but in addition to that, what is very important to me is that I'm, I'm working on this book uh, to basically help uh, aspiring singers to have success and longevity in this industry based on things aside of their voice and their talent and their craft. Because there's so many things that will keep you working that go beyond your talent. Right. You know, uh, people feel and, and things to do and things not to do. I want people to, to come step up to the plate with their talent, get called for the gig, and then continue to get called for the gig. You know, I don't want you to be one of these people who get a gig because you're good, but mm-hmm. then you can't figure out why you never got called back because you didn't handle something properly, or you didn't communicate properly, or you were late, or, you know, just things that I want to help people uh, with in this industry that keeps you longevity and the success. That's one book that I'm working on, and of course, obviously, I'm working on uh, BBD and CDs uh, to help you perfect your vocal approaches and your vocal uh, techniques. That's what's up, and they can find all of that on your website? That's all coming. The Sanger's website is brand new. Mm-hmm. It's still kind of um, under construction, but you can go to it right now. You can see some of the merchandise. Um, and if you just keep, I will always on like Facebook and Twitter, I'll keep everybody posted as much as, much as possible. But as these, um, if the books and the CDs are done, mm-hmm. I will definitely, they'll be on Sanger's.com in the merchandise uh, tab. Um, these are all working out, and I'm planning on being done by the end of the year. That's what's up. Well, as always, we I, I just enjoy talking with you, and I'll make sure that I post links um, at the bottom for everybody. And um, you are definitely a part of the Envy District family. We just appreciate you, and I just thank you for talking with talking with us. Oh man, it's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure talking talk to you, Mark. All right, thanks.